fertilization fertilization is the epic story of a single sperm facing incredible odds to unite with an egg and form a new human life it is the story of all of us it takes about 24 hours for a sperm cell to fertilize an egg when the sperm penetrate the egg surface of the egg changes so that no other sperm can enter at the moment of fertilization baby's genetic makeup is complete including whether it is a boy or girl welcome to target gpet channel today's we are going to talk about the hard journey of a sperm to meet the egg and fertilize it a man may ejaculate 40 million to 150 million sperm which starts swimming upstream toward the fallopian tubes on their mission to fertilize an egg fast swimming sperm can reach the egg in a half an hour while others may take days the sperm can live up to 48 to 72 hours only a few hundred will even come close to the egg because of the many natural barrier that exist in the woman's body the journey start during sexual intercourse about 150 million sperm enter the vagina soon afterward millions of them will either flow out of the vagina or die in its acidic environment however many survive because of the protective element provided in the fluid surrounding them next the sperm must pass through the cervix and opening into the uterus usually it remain tightly closed but here the cervix is open for a few days while the woman ovulates the sperm swim through the cervical which is thin to a more watery consistency for a desire passes once inside the cervix the sperm continues swimming toward the uterus through the million will die trying to make it through the mucus some sperm remain behind caught in the fold of the cervix but they may later continue the journey as the backup to the first group inside the uterus muscular uterine contraction assists the sperm on their journey toward the egg however resident cells from the woman's immune system mistaking the sperm for foreign invaders destroy thousands more neck half the sperm head for the empty fallopian tube while the other half swim to towards the tube containing the fertilized egg now only a few thousand remain inside the fallopian tube tiny cilia push the egg toward the uterus to continue the sperm must surge against this motion to reach the egg some sperm get trapped in the cilia and die during this part of the journey chemicals in the reproductive tract causes the membranes covering the head of the sperm to change as a result the sperm becomes hyperactive swimming harder and faster toward their destination at long must the sperm reach the egg only few dozen of the original 150 million sperm remain the egg is covered with a layer of cell called corona radiata the sperm must get through this layer to reach the outer layer of the egg to zona pellucida when sperm reaches the zona pellucida they attach to the specialized sperm receptor on the surface which trigger their acrosome to release digestive enzyme enabling the sperm to burrow into the layer inside the zona pellucida is a narrow liquid filled space just outside the egg cell membrane the first sperm to make contact will fertilize the egg a pallious journey and against incredible odds a single sperm attaches to the egg cell membrane within a few minutes their outer membrane fuses and the egg pulls the sperm inside this event causes changes in the egg membrane that prevent other sperm from attaching to it next the egg release chemical that pushes other sperm away from egg and create an impenetrable fertilization membrane the fertilized egg start growing fast dividing into many cells it leaves the fallopian tube and enter the uterus 
three to four days after the fertilization. The cells continue to divide, becoming a hollow wall of a cell called a blastocyst. The blastocysts implant in the wall of the uterus about six days after fertilization. The blastocysts attach to the lining of the uterus, usually near the top. This process is called implantation. is a complete by day 9 or 10 the wall of the blastocyst is one cell thick except in one area where it is 3 to 4 cells thick the inner cell in the thick end area develop into the embryo and the outer cell burrow into the wall of the uterus and develop into the placenta